true and not at all what you think. You will read with some reluctance and capitulate in the end. I am going to tell you everything. Chapter 2, Don Crutchfield. Los Angeles, 6-15-68. Women! Two bevies walked by the lot. The first group looked like shop girls. They wore Ivy League threads and modified bouffants. The second group was pure hippie. They wore patched up jeans, peacenik shit, and long straight hair that swirled. They came and went. The wheelmen waved. The shop girls waved back. The hippie chicks flipped off the wheelmen. The wheelmen wolf called. The Shell Station Line, Beverly and Hayworth. Four pumps and a service bay office, three wheelmen sprawled in their sleds. Bobby Gallard had a Rocket Olds. Bill Irwin had a 409 Chevy. Crutch had a 65 GTO. He was the rookie wheelman. He had the boss ride, 390, Hurst four speed, Coon maroon paint. Bobby and Phil were midday blitzed on high test <laughs> vodka. Crutch was residual torqued on the girl show. He scanned the street for more walk bys. Zilch, just some old heaves loping to shul. <laughs> Back to the paper. Yawn! More jive on James Earl Ray and Sirhan Sirhan. <laughs> Snore! America grieves, accused assassin's lair. Ray vibed pencil neck. Sirhan vibed towel head. Hey America, <laughs> I got your grief swinging! <laughs> Crutch flip pages. He hit flyweights at the forum and a grabber. Life magazine offers million scoots for Howard Hughes pick. A redhead walked by. Crutch waved at her. She scowled like he was a dog turd. Wheelmen emitted bad vibes. They were low rent and indigenously fucked up. <laughs> they perched in the lot. They waited for work from skank private eyes and divorce lawyers. They tailed cheating spouses, kicked indoors, and took photos of the fools bawling. It was a high risk, high yucks job with female skin potential. <laughs> Crutch was new to it. He wanted to groove the job forever. <laughs> the paper called Howard Hughes a billionaire recluse. Crutch got a brainstorm. He could starve himself down to bones and shimmy up a heat shaft. Snap! One Polaroid and vamoose. The lot dozed. Bobby Gallard skimmed beaver mags and slurped Smirnoff 100. Phil Irwin wiped his 409 with a chamois cloth. The lot dozed. No work. No walk by coups. Gas station on we. It was hot. It was humid. Crutch yawned and aimed the A.C. vent at his balls. <laughs> it perked him up and got him head-tripping. Gas station blahs 
at you. He was 23. He got expelled from Hollywood High for candid camera stunts in the girls' gym. His old man lived in a Goodwill box outside Santa Anita. Crutch Sr. panhandled, bet all day, and ate pastrami burritos exclusive. <laughs> His mom vanished on 6 1855. Crutch was 10 then. She up and split and never returned. She sent him a Christmas card and a five spot every year. Different postmarks, no return address. He built his own missing persons file. It filled up four big boxes. He killed time with it. He called around the country and ran PD checks, hospital checks, obit checks. He kicked off his quest in junior high school. Nothing. Margaret Woodard Crutchfield was still stone gone. The wheel man gig fell on his head. It happened like this. He kept up with his high school pal, Buzz Duber. Buzz shared his passion for pad prowls. Soft <laughs> prowls like this. Hancock Park, big dark houses, preppy girls, lairs. Knock, knock. Nobody's home? Good. <laughs> you enter undetectably. You carry a pen light. You dig some plush cribs. You walk through girls' bedrooms and exit with lingerie sets. He did it a few times with Buzz. He did it a lot by himself. Buzz's dad was Clyde Duber. Clyde was a big time PI. He did divorce jobs and got celebs out of the shit. He installed college kids in left wing groups and got them to rat out subversion. The fuzz popped crutch on a panty prowl. They snagged him with some black lace undies and a sandwich he glommed from <laughs> Sally Compton's fridge. Clyde bailed him out and got his record expunged. Clyde got him wheelman and chump surveillance gigs. Clyde said window peeping was kosher, but next to B&E. Clyde said, kid, I will pay you to peep. Crutch had a flop at the Vivian Apartments. It was a walk-up dive just south of Paramount. Grips and stagehands lived there. Bit players turned lunchtime tricks in a jumbo mop closet. Crutch crammed all his shit into two rooms. His file shit, his camera shit, his car shit, his bug and tap shit. Clyde taught him surveillance. He had phone cords and wire mounts up the yin yang. He had the full run of Playboy magazine. He had car craft back to 52. His wallpaper was 41 Playboy Playmates. He settled in for the night. He updated his notes on his mother's last known location. Christmas 67, Margaret Woodard Crutchfield writes from Des Moines, every known records check zero. Backtrack to 66, a Christmas card from Dubuque, every in between town, full records checks zero. Crutch got antsy. Buzz was who knows where, 
blitzed on who knows what. 